Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing a very special unboxing slash review. It is my first designer bag purchase, and I thought I would share my thoughts after owning it for one month now. I wanted to wait until I wore this bag out a lot and got to really like use it to the full max before I made a video review about it because it was quite expensive, and it is my first designer purchase um, at a retail price. A lot of my current designer items I have in my closet, whether it's like um, clothes or shoes or jewelry most of it was actually purchased secondhand off of like the real real or like a secondhand designer shop I found online most of the things I have that are designer are not like new new they were pre-owned which makes this video much more exciting to film because I feel like I've come to a point in my life where I could splurge on something really big and nice for myself before I get into the video I want to preface that there were three or four bags I was looking at before I actually made the decision on which one to get but they were all um, from a few different brands so I finally narrowed it down to one brand and then there were a few bags I looked into that one brand that I was like, mm, I could probably go with any of these, but I feel like if you're going to spend a lot of money on a bag, then you should definitely get the one that's like the one for you. It doesn't have to be a bag that you can use all the time. The one that I decided to get is vastly different from the three that I had previously looked at. So the first one was the uh, 30 Montan by Dior and it's this white bag, top handle, just insert the photo here. I looked at it for like three weeks, but then it sold out. You can see it's like much more edgy compared to the other bags I'm going to show you. It has silver hardware and it has a top handle and then like a crossbody so you can wear it across your body. I think if I'm going to buy something like uh, very expensive. I would want to buy it in a color that I would wear more often. That was a bag that I really considered. It was like the first one that made me like start looking into bags again. The second one was a <laughs> Dior saddle bag. Um, that one everyone has like a lot. It's like considered the influencer bag, but I don't really like the antique gold hardware on it. The bag itself is a very unique shape. It's one of the first bags that really made people like think about designer and like think about the different types of styles that they you can wear a bag with like very casual clothing and you can also wear it up or like dress it up. So that was one of the bags I looked at since like 2018, but I feel like for the price, it was probably better to just buy a second hand in the future if I want. I know Dior recently had a, um, not even just Dior, but like a bunch of brands just recently had a price increase. But with the saddlebag, they recently uh, increased it quite a bit but now it comes with a strap um, that's matching with the bag, like a leather strap. Instead of having to buy like a separate crossbody strap, which you can still do, it comes with a matching leather strap to the bag. For my first like big designer bag purchase, I wanted to buy something that I could wear with a lot of stuff and then ease my way into the far future of like buying stuff that I can wear maybe on occasion. The bag that I bought was from Dior and I actually had to order this online because they didn't have the size I wanted and the color I wanted in the store when I tried it on. They only had the display, but I did go into the store. I tried on the three different sizes before I made a decision and ultimately it came down to the Lady Dijoy small bag. All size actually came out this year in January of 2023. So it's a new size. I, I feel like I'm expecting not a lot of people to have this size of the bag, which I when I was looking for reviews and stuff, it was really difficult because it's so new. I feel like not a lot of people like the Dijoy because of the shape, but personally, once I show it to you, I think you'll understand why I like the bag so much. Please ignore the background. I, I was doing laundry and I didn't put the bed sheets on my mattress yet, so that's why it looks like that. The lighting in my room got significantly better as the day went on and it's already almost like six o'clock, so lots of natural light flowing into the room. We have the tissue right here and when you open it up, Obviously, I've already worn it for like a month. So you get two straps um, along with the bag. First one is a leather crossbody strap where you can wear it either like really long over your shoulder or you can wear it across the body. And I like how they included this. It has the D hook, which attaches, oh my gosh, ignore my nails, um, attaches to the sides of the top handle of the bag. I like how they included this adjustable crossbody strap because I feel like this helps me um, wear the bag more versatile. Second strap it comes with is this over the shoulder type or like you could hang it like on your arm right here strap and it also has the D hooks, uh, the CD on here, the detailing. It's a very light gold hardware and I like that it came with this. This is actually the reason that 
um, really sold me on the bag in particular because you could wear it in so many ways. And so the bag comes in this dust bag and then you get your authentication cards and stuff. And then these are the care tags when you buy it online or even in store. Um, if you decide to return, you have to keep these on and you have to include everything. But I knew after I tried it on in the store, I wouldn't be returning it. What it looks like and it's so pretty. <laughs> very classic i think it's lambskin leather which means it will get scratched easier than calfskin but i mean a bag is meant to be worn and i think like my motto in life is what's the point of buying something if you don't wear it out anyways i think it'll have more personality once it gets worn out more too but these are the details i really like how it's a light gold hardware because i wear a lot of silver jewelry which is why i was so interested in the previous montan 30 montan bag you can wear it like this like top handle but then when you want to wear as a crossbody or a shoulder bag the handles actually fall down to the sides unlike the lady dior um like classic bag Three, i think lady dior or lady dior bag has this dior um charm on it on the back of the bag it says cd on the hardware bottom bag over oh, the bag doesn't have the feet like the metal feet so it can scratch easy if you put it on a rough surface which i don't know if i will ever do anyways show bag itself yeah because it's lambskin it does scratch easier the inside of the bag what it can fit i'll show you this has like a flap on the top all of the lady dior and lady dijoy bags have this even the micro the small size has the magnetic uh like thing on the inside so that when you actually close the bag there's magnets right here that help it keep closed the only thing about this flap that i really don't like is that when you open it up i'm not even sure if you can see it but there's like two indentations here already i've had this bag for less than a month and because of this um the handle here where this is attached it dents this flat part and it looks kind of bad if you open it up like this like it obviously has the indentation most of the time you'll have it closed anyway so it's not really that big of a deal for me you actually can fit quite a bit of stuff if you are a minimalistic person or if you're very simple i wouldn't say i'm minimalistic i think i would just say that i don't carry a lot of stuff like i'm very simple and basic when it comes to bringing stuff with me it's the inside of the bag it has a flap right here where you can put like cash or id or something like every bag has like an inner um flap and then it has the two d hooks here which has the two d hooks on the side one here and then one here for if you want to attach like the extra strap and if you don't you can just tuck them in like this and wear it like this the good thing about this bag is that the size is pretty much perfect for me and i will show it to you i'm um, trying on this is the shoulder strap and it has the D hook. You just clasp it on like this. And then the other side as well. Like this. Like this on your arm. Or you can wear it on your shoulder, which I think is really cute. And I like how it sits on my shoulder. I feel like I have a very small body frame. So when it hangs on my shoulder, yes, it kind of gets hidden a bit. But if you're wearing like more tight clothes or like a crop top or something, it will show more of the Dior. And I feel like I, it doesn't really scream Dior either, which is why I liked it because I like more quiet luxury. Also take this off or if you don't want to take it off and you want to hold it, you can have the strap still hanging and it's kind of like a nice accessory to add so i always have a keychain with me that i can hang on here i have one that's a little bit shorter because it kind of drapes a little bit like if it was more up here then it would look nicer but i like how i can personalize this by like attaching little keychains and stuff dior also sells twillies that you can put on your bag but i'm not sure if i'll get one because it's not really like my style but i like how they have the option to do it cute when it's hanging like this on the side like this i mean i would wear it this way because the dior thing shows right here and then i will show you the crossbody function so here i've attached it like this and actually you know the strap in the beginning it was a little bit too thick for the bag but now that i see it it's actually not too thick but you can wear it like on the shoulder like this which is really convenient and then you can also wear it like this 
this. I really like the size specifically. And then I also like that it came with the two straps because, you know, again, like versatility, it, they give you options to wear it in different ways. And they also include how to wear it. So for reference, this is the small size. The micro is about like this much smaller. So where maybe like if you cut this off, that's how big the micro is. Micro can only really hold like iPhone without the case and then a card holder or like maybe your car keys, but it really doesn't fit much. So that's why I opted for the small and I feel like the medium didn't look good on me when I tried it on either. Like it was a little bit too big for my frame. I thought they would have came out with this size actually a lot earlier just because when they do come out with bags, I feel like they should, they come out with the just right size first and then they come out with the bigger one or a smaller one. This bag, you can fit comfortably at least like four or five things so like i said it has a little flap on the inside you can fit a phone this is iphone 14 pro just a normal size like this and then you can fit your car key and your wallet um, for me in every bag i have i have like either a lipstick or a lip balm and i always have the lip balm so it's not an or it's always but that's every bag i have that set cash or if you have like um uh, i don't know what what else do people bring around like i guess i could fit my vlog camera in here if i didn't put in my phone and my phone is always like in my hands too so i guess that would actually be um, like useful, but whenever I'm vlogging, I keep the, the camera in my hand because I don't want to miss something. Yeah, that could fit though. And I don't know what else do people bring, like cash, lip gloss, lipstick, I guess like hand sanitizer, but I have one of those chains that you can just like attach right here. So that's not a problem for me. Oh, you can definitely fit like an external like battery in here if you need like a extra uh, portable charger or something. I think for people who are like me and don't really carry much, you just carry phone, chapstick, wallet, and your keys. This is like perfect and you can still fit the more small items and it's not that heavy even like with the stuff in it, which I really like. Like it's hefty, but that's because my phone also has a thick case on it and usually when I go to the mall or like I'm driving to, my keys are not even, like my wallet is not in my bag because I have it attached to this wallet thing. My favorite way to wear it is with the chain though because I feel like it's just the easiest way to wear it. And all of the other options were so far off of like what I actually ended up buying. The hardware on all of my other bags that I have, whether it's like APC or like that really old Chloe bag I have, they all have this like really light gold hardware, which is probably why I gravitated towards this so much. I didn't even notice it until I, I got this bag and I came home and I was like, oh, it looks like the other bags I have, but I'm super happy with my purchase. I will be wearing this probably after I'm done filming this video because I'm probably gonna go to the mall. Like I had been thinking the first two weeks, like, hmm, should I have bought that? Because Yungi also just announced a tour. So I was like, oh, maybe I don't want to spend that much money, but then I'd already been looking at it for a while. so. Just pulled the trigger and here it is. So that was the review and the short unboxing and how, you know, it fits in there, a little bit of detail and like my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope if you were looking for a luxury bag or something like designer that you are influenced now to maybe take a chance on it. Um, I know it can be kind of like intimidating to go into luxury designer stores, but just remember the people that work there are just the same as you like we all have to work a job to buy something expensive like it's it's always going to be like that so i feel like you should feel encouraged to go in there and try something on especially i've been looking at some of this stuff for a long time but i didn't think i would actually make a commitment until i went into the store and tried it on and it makes such a huge difference because you think you like things online but then you never actually see them in person and then when you buy it's like oh dang i have to go return it now like that was the video uh, i hope you enjoyed this review and short unboxing happy april it's like the third week already i will be traveling these uh, next few months for the tour pretty much filming most of it so i hope if you want to come along with me on this 
journey, this BTS journey, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel or you can follow me on TikTok or Instagram and then you can leave comments in the comment section below whatever you want to see. I feel like people really like the vlogs lately because they're more chill but they have like a funnier editing or like a cooler editing and makes you feel like you're with me in the moment. I hope you're having a great month. I hope you have plans for the summer and if you are looking for a luxury bag, which one is it and when will you pull the trigger because <laughs> i am very interested to see what people are into these days i will see you guys in my next video bye